Makarios, a devotional for the season of Lent, produced by Northside Church. Wednesday, March 6th, flourishing are those who hunger and thirst. Our scripture passage today comes from the Lord's Prayer. Give us this day our daily bread. We can go without food for a while and still survive. But if we are going to flourish as disciples of Jesus Christ, then we must feast on the word of God each and every day. If we are on this path of Makarios, then our need for such sustenance will rise up within us without fail. Knowing the hunger and thirst his disciples would have for this word, Jesus taught us to pray. Give us this day our daily bread. Notice Jesus doesn't say weekly or monthly or give us our yearly supply of bread. The word of God, the bread of life, must be gathered and consumed on a daily basis. It can't be hoarded or stored up. It can't be saved for later. You can never eat enough of it today that you won't be starving for it by tomorrow. Here Jesus is alluding to the Israelites in the wilderness, wandering in the wasteland, wondering what they were going to eat. When they got hungry, they began to grumble against Moses and the freedom God had granted them. If only we had died by the Lord's hand in Egypt. There we sat around pots of meat and ate all the food we wanted. But you have brought us out into this desert to starve this entire assembly to death. Exodus chapter 16, verse 3. What an astonishing lack of trust and faithfulness. Of course, God did not abandon them to their hunger. God provided flakes of bread called manna, as well as quail, for them to eat, with the one stipulation that they could only gather as much as they needed for the day. In this way, God taught his people to trust that he would provide their daily bread. Before we are too hard on the Israelites, however, we should look hard at ourselves. How often do we throw our hands up in the air and cry out to God for what we lack? How often have we grumbled that God has not provided what we need, even before we've bothered to go out and gather the daily bread that he has provided? I confess my failure is not a lack of trust or faith in God like the Israelites, but rather it is a sense of entitlement and just outright laziness. How many times have I found myself hungry and thirsty for the righteousness of God only because I thought I had stored up enough Jesus to last me and hadn't bothered praying for the daily bread I so desperately need? Maybe you found yourself in a similar spot. Whatever the case may be, let us be a people who, rather than grumble about our grumbling stomachs of faith, pray to the one who is waiting to give us the daily bread we need to flourish as his disciples. What daily bread do you need today? Let us pray. Almighty God, make your presence known to me. For this day and all its gifts, I give thanks to you. Grant me the grace to know my sin, that I may rid my life of all that leads me away from you. What thoughts are unloving, what words offend, what deeds hurt. For all these, forgive me. Have mercy on me and restore me to the joy of your salvation. Lord, I commit my heart soul and mind to you and your kingdom. Through your grace, I am yours now and forever. In Christ our Lord. Amen.